but you have to finish wow. that in a week. Being an artist is hard. How do you find your own like voice? What goes into design? I hope Hannah doesn't put it in, but the reason why they hired me was because. Hey guys, this is my friend Joy. Hi! My name is Joy. Currently, I freelance for Cartoon Network as a background designer. This is the second part of last week's video. If you haven't seen part one, we have covered quite a few topics including It increases your chances of getting hired as an intern. So I went through two interview processes. The number one thing we prefer not to see is when people there's a link down below so you could check that out as well. But let's continue where we left off with the next question. So how many projects have you worked on at Cartoon Network? So like they, we all look at the storyboard all together, like all the designers, and they assign scenes. Like, oh, okay, you do scene 24 and then 50 through 55. And it just goes like that. So from the storyboard, they it varied. They gave me like five to twelve a week um, to do. And one one week they sent me twelve, but you have to finish wow. that in a week. What does it look like? Do they give you like a script, description, um, like a basic drawing for you to develop? So they give me the animatic, which is like a really rough, like it's basically the storyboard being put together. It's a really rough outline of like what the show is gonna look like or what the episode is gonna look like. Um, it's almost like a flip book. It kind of mm, looks like a flip book. And cool. so we go through that and then we go through the actual storyboard like panel by panel. And then um, he'd be like, oh, okay, for this scene, he's actually looking this way. So can you make it so that the window's kind of in frame or like something like that? Like if, if the storyboard is on point, like if it's exactly the way they want it to look like, then they don't say anything. Yeah, they were really helpful. They always were very specific with what they wanted mm -hmm. and were super open to any questions I had. How much longer do you see yourself being at Cartoon Network? Because you said you wanted to work for other places. I do want to work for other places, but I love drawing in general. So I don't really care where, I'm, where I work at. It just so happened that I ended up at Cartoon Network by the grace of God. You said you still trying to work for Netflix? Netflix. Well, yeah, that'd be great. I would love to work for Netflix. What would you be doing at Netflix? Same thing. Mm -hmm. Background design. For Netflix um, cartoon production. Mm -hmm. For TV. I see myself staying in TV. But man, being an artist is hard, guys. So as a background designer, where do you find your inspiration? That's a great question. It's a hard one. That's a really hard one. I guess my first and biggest inspiration was um, an artist at Disney. His name is Armin Serrano. He came to my hug one when um, I was still working on my portfolio. And he, I don't think he does, because he works for features, so he doesn't do background design, like specifically, but he kind of showed us what he does. Oh, he's a vis dev artist. I think. He's a what Don't quote artist? me. A vis dev. Oh. He, he showed us like the work that he does, and he mm -hmm. like did a little demo, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Wow, that's amazing! I want to do that." Mm -hmm. How about like when you're designing, you have to put in your taste in there. Yes. Like, how do you find your own like voice, your creativity? Where does it come from? Does that make sense? That makes sense. No, I know what you're saying. A lot of people ask me this. It's like, what's my style? Or like, how did you develop your style? Yeah, yeah. Dude, the thing is, this is a, probably a bad answer. I don't think I have a style. And that is okay. I think a lot of us as artists and designers are in the process of developing our own voices. Most creatives go through this process, which I think is very natural. For me, I try to carry an open mind to explore and experiment with different styles. I guess I kind of took inspiration from Will Weston because I took his drawing for entertainment class and he taught us how to draw using like curves and like everything being dy dynamic. So I guess my work looks like Will Weston's work. When you design, like sometimes you get stuck, right? Yes. How do you get out of that? Oh, how do where I get do my brain to? flowing again? Yeah, where do you like look towards? For TV animation, 
I never get stuck because everything is very structured. Like you know exactly what to do. The style is exactly how the show wants it to be. You can't really expand your creativity when you're working on a show. Um, mm, you just need to draw, draw well. You Yeah, you basically just need to be like a stamp. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, baby. If you're talking about my, my personal projects, where do I get my inspiration from? Mm -hmm. What I'm curious is, where do you get stuck designing? With Oh, the biggest place I get stuck in is starting. So like starting the initial composition is hard mm. because... Because it's all about like where to focus. And yeah, you, you really have to like know where to lead the eye. This is where like your design comes in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I get stuck a lot. Um, all about perspectives, right? Perspective is a big part. But design also, like... What goes into design? I'll give you an example of one of my works from my class. It's really bad. I hope Hannah doesn't put it in. But so my, <laughs> idea, my idea was... Should I tell the white? Yeah, can we? For one of my pieces, um, there's a girl who's a main character who feels overshadowed by her brother. Because mm -hmm. her brother is more famous because he's a superhero mm -hmm. so in my drawing i put the girl and she was separated by a bus stop like yeah. a pole yeah and there's a crowd of people and uh -huh. they're all looking uh, at the brother uh -huh. who's fighting something super big over here uh -huh. but the sister is like kind of overshadowed because like all the action's happening up here but i kept her in the foreground so she's um still in main focus mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but like everyone's eyeline is going towards there so I made sure that she was the second, um, the second thing that people focus on. Mm -hmm. So first focus would be the brother, and the second focus would be on the sister, mm -hmm. because um, she's also being cut off, and she's sitting in a bus stop. So there's like a lot of contrast on her because mm -hmm. there's like a rim light on her face. Yeah, it's like a whole like that whole thought process has to go into my personal projects. That's why starting it is when I get stuck. How did you come to that conclusion? This is a boring answer, but like class, like my teachers. How did they help you? So you were sharing like your struggles and they're like, you should do this. And you're like, okay. Oh no, no it wasn't like that. Okay. It was like, they kind of explain how composition works in terms of design and like how you can make something feel. So we looked at a lot of films and like how directors are able to make you feel for the character based on like how the camera is angled. So technically we're like the camera person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot that goes So do you it. use that method in a lot of your, in your work that you do for Cartoon Network? Oh, Cartoon Network, no. Oh, because you the, don't do that part. Yeah, Cartoon Network, the design, everything is kind of pre-done. I'm just like, I just like clean it up. So who does the design? Storyboard artists? I guess storyboard artists kind of do the design. They do the really rough design. Okay. So it's like, oh, there's a box here and a mm. and a table there. The storyboard artist does the composition. Me as the designer designs it. So I design what the mm. box looks like or like what the table looks uh -huh. like. Yeah, the That's environment. That's fun. Oh, it's getting really dark. Yeah. So for the last question, um, wow, it doesn't even focus on us. What? It's so purple. Dang, look at the silhouette of this thing. Wow, this is so much better. <laughs> yeah. So much better. Okay, so um, for the last question, what kind of advice would you give to people that are trying to get into your field? Practice a lot. Because even though I was an intern and that's how they knew me, the reason why they hired me was because I kept posting on Instagram. Like I kept working on stuff and I kept like putting out things to kind of show like, hey, I'm capable, like I can draw. And then that is what like caught their eye, I guess. So they were following you on Instagram? Yeah, they followed me when I was an intern. Like oh, they follow okay. all the interns and um, and you kept like reminding them of your skills by just yeah posting. I just kept posting and then when she hit me up I was like oh my gosh really and she said yeah I love your work and I was like oh my gosh that means she looks at my work 
So yeah, just keep practicing. Keep and most likely that's on Instagram. Yep. Most likely. And they won't like go on your website. It wouldn't be as easy as Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is really easy because people are on Instagram anyway and they just like scroll. Going to your website, that's like intentionally right, right, right. like scouting you. But so you are like, hello, remember me? Look at, look at what I can do. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Practice. Practice makes perfect. You know why basketball players are good? Because they practice. Because they practice. Okay, well, thank you for being my guest on my channel.